Year one, uh, freshman year in the league, and people couldn't expect a winner. Someone's gonna come out every game in the regular season, every game in the playoffs when we get there, because we're gonna get there. Um, just someone's gonna compete and go win for that city. You know, whatever, whatever city I end up going to, you know, and I'll be blessed to go there, um, they're gonna get a winner and someone who's gonna change their franchise around for the next couple of years. Uh, you know, I wanna come in and, you know, be able to have an instant impact, you know, to an organization, you know, be able to, you know, change the culture, you know, create a winning culture, uh, you know, for the city, for the teammates, uh, for myself, you know, being, being a competitor. So uh, I think going in there, you know, with the kids and being a point guard, you know, of an NBA team, uh, again, is something that I've always wanted to do, you know, and I'm ready to attack it head on and, you know, face everything that comes with it. All right, we're going to start with like a little bit of hip hinging stuff. We got big RDL with a row, so drop down, hip stays low, hit a row, back up. We have eight on each side. And then we got plank with pull through. So here, we're going flat back, same thing. Drive cross, here, drive cross. We got lateral foundation, so a little bit of movement. So we're up here, drop down, pocket. Back up and hold. Okay, so sorry, we gotta do it. And then last one here, Jay, Vertimax step up. So we'll put the belt on, we'll put the blacks on, drive up, and then switch, drive up. Five on each. All right, let's hit this RDL row real quick. Eight on each. Good, so chest is up. Good, drop down and hit the row. Good, back up. Good, let's go eight. Put this plate on your back. Okay, so flat back. Yep, and then pull cross body. Yep, there you go. One, we got 10. Two, hips, hips. hips. There you go. 10, good. Hey, and one. Okay, five on each. Load. Try to keep that right leg nice and straight. You were bending it a little bit. So right leg straight and then explode through that hip. Good. Good, load. There it is. Push. Ah, see how much explosive you are though? Good, now just control that. Good, let's get bouncy. Good, push. There it is. Good. Three. Four. Some of the biggest improvements, you know, it's kind of just been in my shoulders and in my chest area because, you know, when you're playing and you're driving downhill, I got guys like Kowa, IPG, um, Pat Bev, some of the best defenders in the league. You gotta be able to create space and you know when you get down into the paint, you know, take hits and bumps and still finish. So uh, working a lot on the shoulders, chest, um, and it's just getting stronger overall and you know getting my body right you know, for the next level because it's different. We're going blacks this one. Blacks and explode hip hinge. Boom. Boom. Power. You on? Okay, let's rock. Up, explode. Good. One. Good. Two, squeeze. Three, four. Good, thumbs up. Okay, let's go. Drive onto that leg. And then up. Good, drop down. Two. Ah. Four, three, two, switch. Nice job. That is a burner. Holy. All right, ready? Three, two, good. Knock down, Jay. Good work, good work, good work, my dude. Thank you. Alright, let's go do some of the floor. Don't that one just work? I swear this joint almost just broke when I sat down on it. We're talking shit about my table. Nah, I swear, <laughs> I don't know, I sat. I it's lasted know. like so many years, so many pre-drafts have lasted. <laughs> yeah, so I've been with uh, Wasp for 
couple years. Um, started with their pre-draft program. I've been, um, I'm a physical therapist, athletic trainer, sports conditioning, sports performance, all the above. Um, so I've been MOS for a few years. I started with Jay with his pre-draft stuff. Um, came in, Jalen's hips were really, really tight, back really, really stiff, not able to kind of get down into that low, um, that low position. So like transitioning stuff was tough for him. We've done a ton of work for his hips, ton of work to loosen up his thoracic mobility, ton of work on his ankle mobility. Um, He's looking bouncy. He's looking good. Thoracic um, mobility. Thoracic mobility. We've learned great. a lot though too. Like we, we talk anatomy. <laughs> we talk <laughs> veins, muscles, all that stuff. So he's learned a lot. He's like a really curious, curious guy about his body, which is a good thing. Especially going into the league, you gotta, you gotta need that. So yeah, I do it all. So a lot of the mobility that we work on is like loosening up the bottom of his foot loosening up his ankles every day we're on that so it's been critical for him like i said his ankle mobility uh typically we, we take measurements um he should be at like a 20 degree ankle measurement came in with like a three or four <laughs> not gonna lie it was pretty <laughs> it was pretty bad um so we did a ton of work on his calf mobility he's he's gotten up pretty high up there in that in that normal range which is great so his ankle mobility and his hip mobility are probably the two biggest things that we've worked on um, consistently throughout his pre-draft. So he's gotten a lot more explosive. His hip hinging pattern, um, he would always open up. He wouldn't be able to keep that hip down. We worked a ton on that stuff today and he was able to kind of get into that hip hinge pattern, which is important for like single leg stability and single leg explosiveness. So yeah, he's gotten night and day. All right. Night and day. Night and day. A little bit of hip mobility. We always kind of assess rotation here a little bit. Rotation, so he's a little limited on this way. So we're gonna get in there. Gonna give him a little bit of, a little bit more hip rotation through there. You right, Jay? Yep. These guys have been great. They've been getting in here early, getting shots up, getting whatever treatment if they need treatment. They'll get here early. We do nutrition as well. We get them through all of their pre-workout drink. They take vitamin D, vitamin E, um, krill oil, mushroom oil, joint oil. Um, all the oils. A lot of oils. All the oils. Vitamin D, <laughs> get your bones right. And then we take them through um, a post-workout shake. So a little bit of protein, a little bit of fruit. Let's finish up with good lift. Once again, you know, I always match. Smoothie, match the shorts, match the shoes, match the vibe. So just finish some good work, got a good lift in. A couple shots up to finish up. Uh, gonna go back, chill, and then get ready for this next workout. Keep playing, keep playing. Yep, yep, yep. Hey. Go, go, get it. Yep, yep, yep. Three, we need one more. Got to get it done. It, that one doesn't count. Also, if you get past him, you get past him. You don't get to stop for him. Hey, I dunked him. What? That's like, me, hey, that's like me dunking. Get up on him, Tay. I'm back up. <laughs> See the difference? Uh, Luke. Luke's a good guy. I like Luke. <laughs> uh, he He's uh, outside of being a basketball player, you know, he's just a good person. And I like that I can uh, not collaborate with him, but, you know, talk things through. Um, and, you know, he knows what he's talking about. He's worked out with a lot of guys. So I'm happy I could have the relationship I have with him. You know, he was one of the few college guards that I would watch throughout this year. I was super impressed with how he played the game, his pace, um, his vision, how he sees the game, how he can make reads. I think there's few guys where you look at their game and you know, like, this guy will translate to the NBA. 
Um, there's a few players that are good in college, and you know that that's kind of what they are, but Jason has an NBA game, and so I was super excited to, to get to work with him. This pre-draft process, and I told him this from day one, it's a collaborative effort. So it's not me telling you what to do, it's us coming up with a plan and us executing it day by day, and that's kind of how we've approached it so far. Just looking at the overall spacing, it's just unbelievable. Uh, you, all the shooters, all the elite big men, you just throw lobs to in the game. In college, you know, it's kind of different. You know, it's a little more congested. Um, but, you know, I, I think the direction the NBA is going of, you know, guys that can dribble, pass, and shoot, I know I think fits, fits my bill uh, greatly. You know, also the guy with the plus wingspan, um, pretty good vertical, you know. Um, just just having an overall love for the game and wanting to work every day to get better, I think uh, I'll really translate well to the next level. Always, you always play at your pace no matter what he's doing. I'm not going to sit here and have, it, have him do it for 12 seconds. It's going to be two, three seconds. And then as soon as you hear that clap, then it's live. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Chain, keep like don't yeah there you go keep your handle there it is that's perfect that's perfect <laughs> might be time for me to get step in and guard huh you feeling like that today other side you you even see him stop and like admire his work. <laughs> yeah. You see him stopping him. I thought you shot it right. You good? I think Jason's game translates to the NBA because I've seen very few guards in college basketball that make NBA reads. Um, you know, he's a guy that had the ball in his hands all the time. He saw all different coverages, all different strategies, and he was able to kind of pinpoint stuff and be able to make his teammates better. You know, when you look at who he's going to be playing with next year in the league, it's like he's going to have a 40% shooter on his left, a 40% shooter on his right, an all-star next to him. He was at Ohio, and, and no offense to those guys, but that's not what his group was, right? So it was his responsibility to get those guys involved, and I saw him, you know, if a defense did something to him, it might mess him up for one play, maybe two plays, but then he would, like, put it in his brain, store it, and then the next possession down, he would have a beat. And so that's what I look for when I'm looking at college guards and can they translate to the league is can they make those decisions? If the defense does this, then I do this. Um, and that's how he plays. He plays with pace, he plays with control, he gets others involved, he doesn't force things, he sees the floor, he reads the floor. And I think that's very rare for a guy coming from a mid-major. Yeah, you know, I wouldn't be in the position I'm in now if it wasn't for, you know, all the the work I've done on and off the court, you know, watching film on every uh, player in my position, uh, watching film with opposition guys, um, going to the gym with my best friends late at night, those 3 a.m. grinds, um, getting up every day at, at 7 um, the summertime, you know, to get stronger. Uh, you know, I wouldn't be here without, without that work. You know, I'm very excited for whatever this next journey uh, has to take me. You know, people say Jason's always been overlooked. Obviously, his high school story is crazy. But to me, it just takes one basketball person to bet on you and see what he can do on the court, and that's all he needed. That's all he needed to get to JUCO. That's all he needed to get to Ohio, and that's all he needs now. You know, I fully believe that one team's going to watch the film, watch him in workouts, watch him in the combine, and fall in love with Jason Preston as a point guard and as an NBA leader. And that's what I think they're going to get. You know, I don't look at him as a mid-major guard. I look at him as an NBA basketball player. And I think people that know basketball, people that watch basketball see that. It doesn't matter where you play, it matters what you do on the court, and his game translates 100%. You know, this next month and a half of my life, you know, it's probably the biggest time in my life. And, you know, I know, and I'm willing, prepared to, you know, put in the work. I, don't, I know I have to do, you know, get my body physically ready, uh, get my shot better, watch a lot, even more from than I have been, and I'm just, Really, really excited to embark on this journey.
You gonna lift the 90s tomorrow, bro? For all four? <laughs> uh, I got the 70s for you. I got the 70s for you. I got you, bro. We just gonna work then. <laughs> Hey, put those down, man. Not yet, not yet. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> God damn. You said what? You said what? <laughs> you said what? <laughs> Hell nah, boy. Take the bitches. I don't know, bro. I don't got it, bro. Not yet. I might cop some, I ain't even, oh, these females. These is cold too, though. Nah, these is different. These is diff. Oh, 130. I mean, that's not even that bad. I might cop. These is some shit you don't, you know what I'm saying? You step out with these, bro. So I'm saying, bro, throw those on, go on the boat, tank, bro. You got the tank. <laughs> hey man, Sports Rehab LA. It's your boy Susie in the cut. Hey man, your body's a temple. You gotta treat it right, so I mean, I'll be in here every day getting it, man. Every day, every day. Oh my god. Is that cool? Yeah, she's killing me. She's <laughs> killing me. I mean, yeah, I mean, going into school, I guess you could say I was kind of on top of the world. Like, <laughs> like you know, it was a big deal, I guess, when I committed, you know, on 413, you know, the whole world was kind of waiting. I was kind of turning on Twitter, uh, everybody wondering. I went silent that whole day until it was time to commit. Um, so like, yeah, I felt like the world was in my hands at the time, and then you get to Arizona State, and uh, I had a good time at school, you know, I won't say it was a complete waste of time, you know, I was with my brother, so like, I think that was balancing being with family every single day, you don't really get the opportunity to go to school with your brother, everybody doesn't get the opportunity, so I wouldn't trade that for anything, of course you want to win ball games, but I mean, you know, there's balance, I guess, when you're losing ball games, but you know, your brother's with you, so like, cherish those moments forever. My advice to a high school kid that wants to get where I'm at one day, I would probably just tell him to have fun. Like, <laughs> enjoy it. This stuff goes by fast. I remember when I was in high school. Like, I mean, it was a year ago, but just like the whole journey of being through high school, like I'm not in it no more. So to cherish every moment, uh, I work hard, but at the same time, have fun. You know, basketball is, is a sport at the end of the day, and it's a sport that we love. So, you know, if you love the game, it'll love you back. Put a smile on your face, have a good time, work hard, simple. Your left one is if you hit me, <laughs> I'm gonna need you back, man. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, today, right now, I mean, everything's going really good. You know, I have four workouts, so got really good feedback. You know, I feel like I'm really stepping into that space that I belong in. Uh, of course, we'll see on draft night, but only one team could draft you, but I feel like I'm showing my worth. You know, I went to the combine and a lot of guys sit out during the combine, but you know, me and my group, we decided it was we were gonna play. It's like, how long can you hide for? So, um, just to be able to you know see results. You know, when you work hard, you know, you kind of fall in love with results. I'm addicted to you know just getting better. So, to be able to see that, it makes me want to like attack my next string of workouts. So I have six more, and then it'll be a couple of days from draft. So. To be able just to lock in and then kill the rest of these workouts and continue to get good feedback and to know I'm you know, doing what I'm supposed to be doing is everything. Uh, my biggest motivation through the whole pre-draft process is, you know, knowing that, you know, failure brings the opportunity to, you know, rise again. So, you know, knowing you could always do better and, I mean, there's always opportunities to do more for sure. Tell him I said, hey, shout out Susie, man. This has been my favorite person this whole summer. Somebody in Sports Rehab LA needs to get her a raise, make her a manager. <laughs> Do something, man. CEO Jamal, you hear me? I'm talking to you. Put it on.
Yeah, basketball is who I am. It's almost all I know. Uh, the good, the bad, the okay, and uh, it's just all part of the journey.